Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am going to do another reading. This time we are going to focus on love, 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 love. Is there new love coming in? Is there new love coming in for singles? For singles. Is there new love coming in for singles? What's going on for the singles? That's what I want to know. What's going on for the singles in love? In love. Singles in love. Singles in love. Is there any love coming for the singles? Oh, the thinking man. Well, somebody's thinking about it. Interesting. Is there any love coming for the singles? Well, you know, if you're a woman, you have a man that's thinking about it, but he's not taking any action. His thoughts are overpowering him. Oh, son of a bitch. I can't make this shit up. You know that I can't. Okay? Come on now. <laughs> Soulmates. They're both thinking about each other. We have a man and a woman that are thinking about each other, or they're thinking about love. They're thinking about what steps to take. Do I, this, the man is thinking about, does he have enough to offer? Will it be accepted? Is it good enough? The woman is thinking, <laughs> Should I close this book? Should I close this chapter? Should I start a new chapter? What should I do? Do I even want this? You know? Soulmates. We have a soulmates that are both in the a space of contemplation. It's like they're both alone. So we do have two people that are very compatible, but neither one of them are taking action. So I can't, I can't even believe this shit. Oh my goodness. The goddess, the, <laughs> the moon is like when? Tonight? Tomorrow night. The 22nd into the 23rd. So if you're on the Pacific coast in the USA, it happens like very late at night, I, I don't know, I don't know, like 9, 10, 11, something like that, 9 something, I don't know what time, but it's the late, the 22nd into the 23rd, okay, so, and if you're in the UK, I don't know, you'll have to look that one up, but, uh, or wherever you are, wherever you are in the world, you, there's a full moon coming, okay, we're gonna say it's the 23rd, because that's, That's when you're going to feel it a lot. I mean, you're going to, whatever. Anyway, we're going to say it's the 23rd. Anyway, um, <laughs> there could be some sort of union around this full moon. Okay? The moon may bring these two people together. Interesting. Oh, boy. Woman holding heart. So you're going to have to open your heart. If, we, if you're with a woman in this, in this dynamic, you're going to have to open your heart. Even if it's been ripped out, somebody is going to see. somebody. And this is Angels 4-4. Four, four. Somebody is going to see how beautiful you are, how beautiful your heart is. Be sure that you are open to this. Make sure you aren't closed off because there is an opportunity to absolutely come together with somebody that is a soulmate because this is a soulmate connection you can't deny this shit you can't 46 and 47 i mean this is a soulmate connection but you have to open your heart you have to you have to be available you have to be healed this heart isn't stabbed it's it's whole again Healer, like I said, you have to be healed. That's funny. It's amazing how this works out. Okay? And this is being brought to you from above. This card always reminds me of God. It does. It's like somebody is going, God or spirits or universe or whoever it is that your higher power is going to bring about some sort of connection If you're ready for it. This person that comes in 
may even help you to heal if you haven't healed. It's a healer. Or maybe this is just your higher power that sees that they have healed you and you're ready. Whatever the case is, you know, I don't know. But we definitely have a soulmate connection here that is coming in. And the woman needs to really open her heart. Don't let your past wounds hold you back. Anxiety. Yeah, the man is, is worried about it. The woman wants to be appreciated. Storm warning. Uh-oh. Contract. So, yeah, there could be a new... Uh, contract starting. A new partnership. A new... Uh, it could be a karmic contract. Soulmate contract. Okay. That is being brought to you from above. That could come about around this full moon. This man is very anxious about um, having enough to offer. He may be holding back from making any offers because he's worried if he if he's enough. You know, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like he's very anxious. He's probably afraid of being rejected by this woman because she looks like she's pretty wise. This woman is wise. She's not stupid. You can tell. She read, Anybody that reads books isn't stupid, so he knows that, okay? So I think we have this man that is wondering if he has enough to offer to this woman that, you know, is very uh, educated. This woman is educated. And this woman is worried about even accepting any offers, period, because she is educated and she wants to be appreciated. And so, anyway, I feel like we have a connection here where there's two people that are probably interested in each other right now, as I speak. And this man has been thinking about making an offer. And she is like, you know, I don't even know if I want any offers because I need to make sure that I'm appreciated at this point. She's, she's, she's been reading up. She's been making herself educated. She's pretty comfortable with where she's at. You know, and I think that this man knows that. He's like, I do it. Can I? Can, do I have enough to offer this woman? Do I? Do I? I feel as though there is going to be some sort of upheaval with this storm warning that um, brings about some sort of help. You know, you need help. What, something is probably going to happen which causes this woman to, to need some help. Okay, somebody's coming to her rescue because there's been some sort of, you know, what does a storm bring? A storm can bring a mess, you know, if it, whatever can happen, something can, whatever, you know, all the shit that can happen during a storm, whatever kind of storm it is, it could be a blizzard, it could be a windstorm, it could be, could be a flood, it could be anything. There's all kinds of storms, right? So there's going to be some sort of upheaval that, you know, it may make a woman emotional. It may make her put her heart out on her sleeve. Okay. And now we have somebody that is this, somebody that is coming to help by the looks of things brought to you from above. Here we have this rest and rejuvenation during, during this moon. You may feel the need to just retreat. You may feel the need to get centered. You may feel the need to just go within because when, when there is a full moon, there's a lot of energy. There's, there's a lot of heaviness. There's a lot of uh, feelings that are being brought up to the surface. You know, there's just a lot of uh, confusion as well with a full moon. With a full moon, there's just so much going on that sometimes you just need to, you know, <laughs> retreat. So you may feel like you need to retreat because of the the energies that are, you are feeling then all of a sudden you know the full moon brings brings bullshit too like storms so you know i think that something is going to happen that um makes some woman uh emotional because that heart is out the heart is out it causes some sort of emotional um 
turbulence per se and you know now now she's she's needing comfort she's needing comfort she's needing somebody to help her fours are angels by the way so and this is i consider this a higher power god so i feel like there's going to be some sort of higher power which is whether it's angels god universe your higher power whatever it is that brings about a new contract you know brings you somebody somebody is going to come to help you through this storm whatever it is storms can come in many different forms it doesn't have to be a nature storm it could be anything. It could be an internal storm. It could be within the family. Whatever is happening, there's going to be some turbulence where we're going to have a woman who needs some sort of support. You know, her heart is probably going to feel like it's been ripped out, okay? So she may feel, she may feel like her heart has been ripped out and we have this higher power that is going to bring these two people together and a new contract is going to start that's what it looks like to me and i feel like this contract because this is soulmate and this is a contract i mean this contract is meant to be it's meant to be it is it is they're going to balance out each other they're both thinkers okay they both think a lot obviously you know and they're so they're both going to have something you and the, this person for the singles that's going to come in you're both going to have the uh, an, what it takes to balance out each other you know what i mean you got to complement each other very well and this is a contract it looks like this is a contract that was written a long time ago okay it's it is it is now now they're going to bring you this person to help you emotionally so that's what it looks like to me i think we have a storm of brewing whether it's internal or external or however it resonates with you it's gonna it's going to um bring about some sort of a new contract with it looks like a soulmate okay right now both people are just in thinking mode then the the full moon coming up is going to bring it together you know it's gonna it's gonna cause the the storm and then this person is gonna be brought to you from above to help you so that's what I see for, for singles. You know, I do understand that this man is very anxious. He's very anxious. He probably has a lot of fear as to whether he can, you know, be the one. But he is the one. He is the one. He absolutely is the one. So if you are the woman, open your heart. Because this person is brought to you from above. That's what I see. Good luck.